How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Ghost of Tabor. In this video, we're going to do a little bit of a tutorial instead of the typical raid gameplay. And I'm going to show you the best way to make money in this game. I don't think any other method could possibly beat this. Just with the math and everything, it's it's the best way to make money in the game. Uh, that is with the weed farm in here. So as you see, I have 39 of these weed plants that have grown to its their, to their full state. And this is actually the best way to make money in the entire game. Because leveling up this room to level 3, it takes a while, but not as long as some of the other rooms. I think it's level 29 or so to get the, the third upgrade, to get this third planter right here. And each planter has 13. Even if you can get it to level 2, that's still going to be a ton of money. Now, the other thing is you also have to get your med block leveled up to at least level 2 to make the most money. If you couldn't even get it to level 3, you'll make a lot more. But I don't have mine level 3 yet. I think it's level 30-something. So, yeah, the last medical station is level 30. 33 which i haven't even reached yet and i've been grinding this white pretty hard so i'd say level two you're still gonna be making a lot of money like no doubt about it we'll do the math here in a minute but if you could get both of those to level three you'll be making so much it's actually insane but basically you want to come into here grow all as many plants as you can if you have one planter you'll still make a decent bit of money so each planter has 13 seed spots which obviously yields you 13 of these products and assuming you have level one, let's say you have just level one everything, level one med block, level one nursery, you have 13 plants. And if you come in here, then you will only make two NRSs per product. Now I'm level two, so I make four per product, but let's say you only make two, you have 13 plants, that's 26 NRSs, and each NRS sells for 1,890 Karunas. So every single med stick is nearly $2,000. If you do 1,890 times the 26 meds that you would get, then you would make an exact 49,140 Karunas, which is not amazing. That's still a good start. That's just level one everything. Now let's say you had level two nursery, but still just a level one med block. So you're still only making two NRSs per craft, but now you have 26 plants instead of only 13. Well, now you're making exactly double the last price, which is 98,280 Karunas. But now let's say you upgrade your med block to level two. Now you're crafting four NRSs per product. Now you are going to be making a total of 196,560 Karunas. And then keep in mind, all of this is every 72 hours if you actually are active in the game and constantly growing and harvesting your crops. You'll be able to make this every 72 hours. And this isn't the only method I'm going to show. I'm also going to go over the crypto and stuff. Because if you do this method along with the passive crypto, crypto earnings you're just gonna make a lot pretty much entirely passively all you gotta do is harvest your crops and plant more which actually does take a while it takes maybe 30 to 40 minutes to actually grow everything and it takes even longer to harvest them but you make a lot of money from it but now let's say you go ahead and you're at where i'm at currently i have level three nursery but still the level two med block so I'm making 39 products per 72 hours, but I can only craft four meds from it. That is still going to yield me a total of 294,840 Karunas, which is a lot of money. You can do a lot with that. And every 72 hours is pretty nuts. I only have a little short of a million right now. That would easily get me there. That's a, that's a lot of money. But for the final level, let's say you get nursery level three and med block level three, which unlocks at level 33. Now you're going to be getting 39 crops and you're going to yield six NRSs per crop, giving you a total of 234 meds which equals 442,260 karunas nearly half a million for one run every 72 hours you can do this obviously it takes a while to actually unlock the level three med block but once you do making half a mil every 72 hours is pretty freaking good now there's also some deductions you got to buy the seeds you got to buy the water or you could you could find the water so you don't have to buy the water uh gas is another thing you have to possibly pay for or find in raid so each seeds cost 1953 karunas to purchase however you can literally sell the bag right back to the vendor for a total of 797 Karunas. So you're only paying 1,156 per seed. If you have the first level unlocked for the nursery, you're only spending 15 grand. If you have the second level unlocked, you're spending 30 grand, and the third level unlocked is about 45 grand. So that is not a ton of money to spend. You're only gonna lose out on 45 grand at max level, which is still gonna yield you about 400,000 Karunas. Now let's say you also have to factor in gas prices. Each gas can in the game costs 4,885 Karunas. And if you have the max level generator unlocked, or at least level two, it'll last you a while just on four gas cans. So if you buy four gas cans, it's about 20 grand, which is 
a very small price to pay. You're still gonna be making 380,000 Karunas and you don't have to buy gas, right? You can go to Makam Yest. Island of Tabor has a couple spawns. There is a ton of gas sitting around on Makam Yest. So you don't even have to buy it. You can go find it if you're really concerned about the 20K. So I'm not even gonna factor that in. I'm not gonna factor in water either because water is very easy to find in raid, especially on island, missile silo. There's plenty of water sitting around. Plus we got the water filter. You can actually fill up any water bottle to full. So those factors are up to you if you want to take that cost deduction on that or not, or you can go find them in raid. Completely up to you. But if you want to make the most possible money, don't buy gas, don't buy water, find it in raid, buy the seeds for 45 grand at level three, and you'd be pulling 400,000 every 72 hours. And that's basically all there is to it. Now I'm still at level two for my med block, so I'm still only making four NRS per uh, product, but I'm still going to be making just short of 300 grand and then minus that deductions again. I'll be making about 250 grand every 72 hours until I can level this up to the max. That's still super good passive money. And of course you don't, ha you don't have to sell these meds. Like look, this is from one batch. Uh, look at them all loading in. This is all for one batch that I, I kept all these meds because they're definitely good to keep. I wouldn't sell your first batch. I would make a whole shelf and this will probably last me for a while. So I'm just going to leave that and sell all the rest of my products until I start running low. And then I'll, you know, I'll reconsider. Maybe I should keep a batch instead of selling it. But it's good passive money. And you, it, it takes a little bit to like actually come in here. You know, I got to harvest 39 plants and put them all in a backpack and take them downstairs, craft all, all the meds out of them. It takes a while. You know, if you're quick, 30 minutes, I would say. You gotta put all of this in the backpack and then it takes insanely long to actually go and craft these all into NRS. Because look, this is the process of this. You gotta close the lid. Sometimes it doesn't even like register that it's closed. And then sometimes the weed won't go in. So you actually have to, you have to go to the tutorial and then back to your hideout because it just doesn't want to go in for some reason. So if we reload the safe house, we come back. Now it should work, but we put this in. Close that, click the button. It takes like three or three to five seconds here. It beeps when it's ready. And now we get our four shots and we have to manually place these in our bag. So you basically have to do this process for 200 NRS shots. It takes a while, I'm not gonna lie, it takes a while. But it takes longer if you wanna keep the, the meds. So if you wanna sell them, basically fill up a whole backpack like this, like kind of what I, oh, I opened the wrong thing. Just keep filling up a backpack like this until it's stacked to the absolute brim. And then basically what you can do is come into the trade room and just throw the entire backpack into the trader. Uh, it's a little risky, perhaps. It might take a while to load if you have 200 NRSs in here. I haven't tried it yet, so just be careful with that. Should work fine. It just might take a while to pop up on here. And then what you can actually do is once you throw it in, it'll ask you what you want to sell and just to take this NRS arrow right here and just start ticking it up all the way until you get to 200 or whatever you got. So you can see for just 11 shots, we're already making 20 grand. It's pretty good money. And if you're for some reason wondering, each product sells for 1500, which is definitely nowhere near the money you can make by making the NRSs. One product sells for less than one NRS, so you're just wasting money entirely. Do not sell the product, just craft it into meds and then sell the meds. But that's about all there is to the med crafting uh, for the best profit. That's how, that's how you can do it. That's all the math broken down. Now, also coming into the Intel room, I'm sure you guys know about the crypto mining in the game. This is also an insane way to make money. So this takes a while. I have 14 of my 48 GPUs done. So I'm about a third done with the GPUs. Uh, I have three shelves. You can get up to four shelves for GPUs. Each one holds 12. And basically every GPU that you get in here is worth, I think it's one Karuna per minute at level one. And then if you level up your utility for your Intel room, it goes up to 1.5 and then it goes up to two. So currently with 14 GPUs, I'm making 28 per minute and each GPU is worth two at level three. So currently I'm making about 40,000 Karunas per day, just passively on 14 GPUs, which is not bad. That's that's gonna cover my gas. Cause we said 20 grand for gas every three or two or three days. So that's making way more. And that's only 14 out of 48 GPUs. So if I can get all the rest of these filled up. So at level one utility with 48 GPUs, you'll be making about 69,000 Karunas. At level two with the max GPUs, you'll be making 103,000 Karunas per day. And then with the max level of everything, you got 48 GPUs and level three in the intel room you'll be making up to 138,240 karunas per day which is 4.3 million per month and if you're wondering why don't i just sell my gpus wouldn't that be better money if you're a casual player sure it definitely could be but if you think you're gonna be playing this game for a while and you know you want to keep grinding to get the max gpu slots let's say you collected 48 gpus and you want to sell them each one sells for 37,000 to merrick which would grant you a total of about 1.8 million so if you want to make the absolute most money selling gpus 
use is not that great. Again, if you're a casual player and you never want to do this crypto grind or whatever, you can sell them. That's still good money, but for 48 GPUs, I think you should just use them on the crypto. It'll make a lot more in the end. It just takes a bit of time and grinding. But that about sums up everything in the hideouts. I do have one more quick kind of in raid money guide. It's nothing crazy. But if we go to missile silo here, there is a little, a couple spawns for the new streamer items. We got Lonely Viper and the Tweak Cheese on missile silo. So I got a terrible spawn here. If we can make our way to the kitchen, then there will be the two spawns for the streamer items. And each streamer item is worth 20,000 Karunas. So if you can farm these along with the, the weed farm, with the crypto farm, you're making a lot of money. A shit ton even. If we come in here, we see we got absolutely nothing. <laughs> Let's try again. There we go. And in our second attempt, we can see we've got a tweak cheese right here. And then if you're lucky, you can get a lonely viper sauce to spawn on this counter. Just check these little fridges or freezer dingies, whatever. And each of these streamer items sells for 20,000. So if you just farm these, you can sell them or you could collect them if you want. Personally, I'm going to sell this tweak cheese because <laughs> it's it's worth 20 grand. But yeah, you can just farm these. You can farm the York Skull too. The Skull is also worth 20k, although you might want to use it for the House of Scott. But yeah, streamer items are a very good way to make money as well. It's a pretty high spawn. I'd say maybe 25%. That's, that's just made up. You know, don't count on that number. I'm just like 25% chance. Maybe one in every three or four raids, you'll actually find a cheese or a sauce or both. And that is a free 20 grand right there from Mr. Tweak's Cheese. But yeah, those are all of my new ways to make money. You got the nursery, the intel room, and the streamer items. Now let's say you're an absolute grinder in Ghost of Tabor and for a month straight you're constantly farming your plants you're constantly running your intel room on max level everything and you always have gas in your generator in just 31 days one month you will make 8.7 million karunas just from your hideout just from passively sitting here and farming crops and doing nothing with the intel room just sitting around with your generator on you can make 8.7 million karunas every month so yeah that's about it that's my passive way of making money in the bunker so thank you for watching this video let me know if it helped you and how your wipe is going so far hopefully this encourages some of you to actually grind out this uh this new nursery room because this room is not only good for meds it's also insanely good for money if you can just level it up but yeah that's about it uh thank you guys so much for watching also just a quick side note my name on ghost of the board is time it's just time so if you get killed by timless vr timels vr i keep getting I, i've gotten a couple posts now that are like oh my god i, I killed timeless vr and the name's like timless i'm just time i just felt i should i should clear that up but anyways thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video and peace out